King Charles has been ruling for a few months now, but it seems like his time on the throne won't last much longer. King Charles is headed to the hospital for treatment of an enlarged prostate as announced by Buckingham Palace. Just like many men out there, the king is getting treatment for an enlarged prostate shared the palace. Thankfully, his condition is benign and he's scheduled for a corrective procedure next week. His public engagements will be put on hold for a short while during his recovery period. It's understood that the king wanted to share the details of his diagnosis to encourage other men who might be experiencing symptoms to get checked following public health advice. Around one in three men over 50 will experience some symptoms of an enlarged prostate, which is a gland located below the bladder. This news came on the same day when it was announced that his daughter-in-law, the Princess of Wales, was recovering in the hospital after a successful planned abdominal surgery, and she will be staying there for 10 to 14 days, canceling all public engagements until Easter. Princess of Wales appreciates the interest this statement will generate. She hopes that the public will understand her desire to maintain as much normality for her children as possible and her wish that her personal medical information remains private, the statement said. Kensington Palace will therefore only provide updates on Her Royal Highness progress when there is significant new information to share. After being discharged from the hospital, the princess will recover at home with her family, including her three children, Prince George, Princess Charlotte, and Prince Louis. Buckingham Palace also decided to make the king's condition public as he had a series of meetings and events planned at Dumfries House, the property in Scotland that he saved for the nation on Thursday and Friday, which were postponed on his doctor's advice. With foreign dignitaries and members of the cabinet expected to travel, Buckingham Palace felt it was necessary to inform people about the situation. According to the NHS website, benign prostate enlargement, BPE, is not cancer and is usually not a serious health threat. The cause of BPE is unknown but is believed to be linked to hormonal changes as men age. Symptoms include difficulty starting to urinate, frequent need to urinate, and trouble fully emptying the bladder. As people get older, the balance of hormones in the body changes, which may cause the prostate gland to grow. Detailed information about the procedure the king will undergo has not been shared. Mild symptoms typically do not require treatment. Lifestyle changes like reducing alcohol and caffeine intake, limiting artificial sweeteners, and exercising regularly may be recommended. For more moderate to severe symptoms, medication to reduce prostate size and relax the bladder may be offered. Although BPE is not usually a serious health threat, it can cause problems such as difficulty urinating or emptying the bladder. In some cases, it can lead to complications like urinary tract infections, chronic urinary retention, or acute urinary retention. If you didn't know, now you know. Hospital procedures like in the King's case are usually recommended for moderate to severe symptoms that have not responded to medication. There are several options available including surgery, steam ablation treatments, and laser treatments. The monarchs former royal butler Grant Harold exclusively told the Post that Prince William is definitely feeling the pressure and no doubt feeling anxious that both his wife and father are sitting out of royal engagements due to their respective medical procedures. Grant Harold said that Kate Middleton being out of action for the next few months will have a huge impact on the royal family behind closed doors. Prince William is also going to postpone public duties to support his wife during her recovery as well as take care of their three children, Prince George, Princess Charlotte, and Prince Louis. He will not undertake official duties while Princess Kate is in the hospital or during the early days of her home recovery. But Harry and Meghan have remained silent since news of the royal family's health troubles. Prince Harry found out about King Charles's prostate diagnosis from the media instead of Buckingham Palace, according to a report. 
the Duke of Sussex learned about his father's upcoming medical procedure scheduled for next week through a message that reached him after he had already read about it online. Insiders say that while the palace made an effort to inform all senior members of the royal family, including Harry, the private message reached him just a little bit too late and after the public announcement. Instead of Harry making a public statement, Harry attended a star-studded event Friday night where he was inducted into the Aviation Hall of Fame. But what does this mean for the future of the monarchy? Let us know your thoughts in the comment section down below. Make sure to like, comment, and share, and we will see you in the next video. Bye.